everyone, Princess Alethea Contis here, and today I'm going to talk about my personal library. Now technically that should be libraries because I have bookshelves like this in more than one room, but this, which is in my main living room, is the reference section. This is the one that I use most often and it's right next to my writing nook, as you can see. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. So let me take you on a little tour. I was inspired by Andre Norton, her high hallock, uh, when I went to visit in Tennessee. Oh, I miss that woman so much. And I miss her library. Oh, it was fantastic. She had everything separated by section. So up here we have, um, at the very top, we have horror. We've got some vampires, some Poe up there. Here we start getting into some mythology, gods and heroes. Um, some gothic stuff, uh, and my Santa Muerte candle. Uh, let's see, here is, this is all the Victorian age. Many of these I actually got from Andre Norton's library. The Worm in the Bud, that's a really great title. Uh, here starts all of the witchcraft. I have these witchcraft books, these witchcraft books, encyclopedias, spells. We've got some tarot, zodiac, numerology going on down here. Um, oh, let me move the movie posters. I have so many movie posters in my house. This shelf uh, is prophecies, psychics, and ghosts. Um, and then kind of down here is the oversized stuff that won't fit on the other shelves. Now this section, starting one over, is all of the fairy tales. Some of them are separated by region. And then up at the top, which is the shelf I'm going to touch probably the least, is my beautiful Harry Potter and my Dobby. Over here, one over, we have uh, Lord of the Rings there up at the top. And then these are my shelves. Those are all the anthologies I've ever been in. Uh, all of the books of Aralam so far. I love the rainbow that they make. Uh, other anthologies, Alpha Oops, uh, Wild and Wishful Dark and Dreaming. Then we have um, some Robin McKinley. I did have to put fiction in my nonfiction section because uh, you'll see when I show you the fiction section, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> Down here we have poetry and uh, the pirate book that's out. I borrowed that from my grandmother to do some research on Thiefdis. We have uh, anatomical encyclopedias for whenever I need art reference or muscle reference and then some comics down, at their, down there at the bottom. Some old school uh, peanuts. We've got Pearls Before Swine and I have all of my Dragon Con books from 1996 on. Here we have Jude Devereaux. Up at the top, three shells of Jude Devereaux and Jill Barnett, who I also love. Uh, some random stuff, mostly, let's see, Unexplained X-Files, Secret Societies, uh, Astronomy, lots of astronomy, some atlases. Um, and then this gets into the more random-y type things. I have a ton of idiot's guides because I'm an idiot in things like, you know, the Arctic and cloning and sensual massage. Look, don't ask. It's, it's a library. You have to have these things. Over here, we have the Stephen King shelf, some travel books, uh, the novels on writing, because, you know, writers need novels on writing. I love my entire uh, Wild Things shelf there. And then, um, yes, that Millennium Falcon is like a pocket Simon memory game. I have stuff everywhere. I'm still unpacking. I'm still going to be unpacking for years. I promise you. Okay. Do you want to see the other library? Ugh, I hesitate to show it to you because it's such a giant mess, but here we go. Look, don't judge me. This library was the room that was finished first, which meant that it got set up first, but then it also collected all the garbage while we were trying to remodel all the rest of the rooms. This room now needs to be fixed. The shelves are bowing underneath the weight of the books, so we're going to have to fix that. Um, anyway, seriously. Here we go, okay. This is true love, guys. You know I love you, because I'm gonna show you this. So this is, this is the, uh, the, li the library room, my fiction section. There's some, the mass markets going around. We've got Snake in the back there. Hi, Snake. I love you, Snake. We've got all of these. Whoa, there we go. There we go. Oh, look at that giant mess down there. We got some comics, some Neil Gaiman, my closet full of office supplies. 
And uh, my giant Lord of the Rings poster that's signed by all of the cast, except Christopher Lee, ugh, of which I'm so sorry, but that poster is incredibly inspiring to me. And um, yeah, that's just, see, giant mess, giant mess of stuff. Look, maybe after Dragon Con, I'm going to work on this, but for right now, it's just a giant mess. Most of what I use is research on a day-to-day -day basis, so... <laughs> Okay, that's it. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Love you.